Welcome back. The Benton County Canine Shelter is adding more resources, not only to help more animals, but the people who are connecting with those animals. Apple Valley News Now's Monique Ledesma says the new changes could be a really positive thing for adoption numbers. Benton County Canine Manager Josh Castilleja says one of the big changes is how they are available for the public. The canine shelter is extending its business days. It's also moving towards a 24-7 on-call service. With those changes, means adding more staff. Instead of you know us being kind of crammed for people, now we can have some designated people to kind of talk about details on the dog that they're wondering about or spending that one-on-one -on -one time with them. Um, that'll all just get better with more people. Castilleja says the shelter has hired three full-time animal control officers just to keep things on track but they could use more help in the way of volunteers. I've already added about seven to our volunteer list. We're still looking for more. Um, so yeah, I tell everybody if you've ever wanted to help out with dogs, take dogs on walks, um, as long as you're 18 and over, please come in and fill out an application to volunteer for us. Another change the community will see soon is expansion plans. This will allow the shelter to help serve more animals. Our kennel space is very limited right now. We have 16 kennels in total, not including medical rooms or puppy rooms, um, but we're looking to up that from 16 to at least 32. I spoke with Greg Wint, who is the Director of Community Development of Benton County, and he says the expansion plans are already underway. I'm selected an architectural and interior firm that has um, started the process of putting design options together for us. And um, over the course of the summer, we're gonna be looking at those and starting a path forward. When it says moving into the fall, they still will be looking at a few different design options. And then from there, start a bidding process for contractors. Reporting in Kennewick, Monique Ledesma, Apple Valley News Now. And construction is expected to start and finish next year. The shelter is currently open Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m.